The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Take Me Out New Hampshire. I'm your host, Dimitra Papadinas, and today we are visiting a very special place right here in my neck of the woods, one of my personal favorites, the Meadow Ledge Farm in Loudoun, New Hampshire. And if you've only ever been to Loudoun for the races, you are missing out. Now, of course, Meadow Ledge Farm features pick your own apples, but they also have a country store featuring gourmet delicacies made right here in New Hampshire. And there is the most wonderful smell coming out of this place. And I have to go and check it out. Come on, let's go eat. Oh my goodness, this place goes on for miles and miles and miles. I am here at the bakery counter. Uh, they have got small, medium, large apple pie, apple cream pie. These apple pies are about a mile high. Uh, they've got apple crumble, cinnamon twists, whoopie pies, pumpkin whoopie pies. I want to eat all of this stuff. It looks so delicious, but the smell of the donuts is just too amazing. I have got to go have a donut. I can't take it anymore. cider donut please just one just one oh, thank you thank you so much oh. oh these smell amazing so you make these fresh every day right and uh, can you tell me the recipe or is it a secret? It's a secret. <laughs> okay, I gotta try this. Oh my God. I can't even begin to explain how good this is. If you've only ever had a donut from a commercial bakery or the grocery store, <laughs> I, I, I can't explain. They are crispy on the outside they are piping hot on the inside. They taste like, I don't know, Christmas and Thanksgiving and Sunday dinner at grandma's house all rolled into one. Oh, it's just an amazing donut. It does not get any better than this donut. Now, if you come here during peak season, uh, during harvest on the weekends, the line for these donuts can be out the door but let me tell you, it's worth the wait. Mm. Mm. Look at that. It's amazing.
I'm out behind the store now. Uh, this is actually where the wagons depart. If you're going out to the orchard to pick your own apples, you can catch a wagon that will take you out and back. Uh, this is also where you come if you want to pick out the perfect Halloween pumpkin and of course some corn stalks. And every weekend during harvest season, Meadow Ledge also features live music from 12 to 3, Saturday and Sunday. Let's go check it out. Today, the live music at Meadow Ledge Farm is being featured by the Bradford Bog people, otherwise known as Woody Pringle and Beth Eldridge. And we live in Bradford, New Hampshire, and we have a bog. <laughs> Hence the name. Yes, there you go. It's very, very catchy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we stand apart with that name. So uh, is this the first time you've played at Meadow Ledge or do you play here regularly or? We pretty much come here every year. We're actually friends with Chris, the, one of the owners, and uh, she has us back and we usually come back about one weekend in the fall whenever we can squeeze it in with our otherwise busy schedules. So. Yeah, and it's fun. Yeah. And it's perfect music here in the farm for the family, for people out here picking apples on a beautiful day like today in New Hampshire. So tell me about your music. What are your influences? What kind of music do you play? Yeah, yeah. We specialize in southern old time music, southern fiddle and banjo tunes that go way, way back to the Civil War and beyond. And uh, we've each been playing this kind of music for probably over 30 years now. And together we've been playing maybe four or five years as the Bradford Bog people. So yeah. Yeah. Banjo, we're here. Banjo's a happy instrument. Five string banjo. Five string banjo. So you're Yankees that play Southern Southern, Southern music. Appalachian music. Yeah. Go figure. How did that happen? I don't know. So you're you're from New Hampshire, you live here, you're not from the South and no, you just heard no. that's correct. That's, that's correct. Wonderful music. It's it's great music. Uh, not a lot of people up this far north play it, but uh, we happened to really kind of fell into it ages ago and, and just stuck with it and we love it. And we do travel down south and uh, get our southern fix now and again. So, yeah. so uh, are you playing anywhere nearby here in the near future? We're playing here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, then I have another uh, group that I'm playing with uh, tonight in the Hopkinton Library, actually. I perform and present music from the Civil War in a band called the Hard Tax. And we actually have a program through the New Hampshire Humanities Council. Uh, called Rally Round the Flag, where we present music from the Civil War and period instruments and discuss political topics and social topics of the time. That sounds really great. So if people want to find out where you're going to be playing next, what yes. your upcoming schedule is, where can they go? Yes. You can go to uh, any of our several websites, bradfordbogpeople.com or... woodypringle.com. Ah, there you go. That'll get you to all the musical venues <laughs> going on. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us. I really enjoyed that uh, fiddle tune and banjo tune yeah. you were playing. What, what were you just playing? What were we just playing? Uh, the Greenfield Waltz. Oh, oh, the one I was singing with yeah. was the Greenfield Waltz, and then we went into a, a West Virginia tune called Hannah at the Spring House. All right. And I'm heading off to West Virginia next week ah. to study the banjo. <laughs> and I encourage folks to come out here, even if we're not here, but to have the cider donuts. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're a hit. I told you those yeah. donuts were good. Right, and tell, pick, tell pick them apples. Tell how good the donuts oh, are. They're awesome. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. People uh -huh. stand in miles for cider donuts, and then you can pick apples, and then if you like picking, pick a banjo. Ah! There you go. Good. Bad pun. Good. Bad pun. Pick an apple, pick the banjo, but you can get them both right here at Meadow Ledge Farm. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. So I am here with Mike whom I have been told is the Nostradamus of the apple cider donuts. He is the man with all the answers. How good are these donuts? Uh, I like to say they're really, really good. Uh, 
We make them here ourselves. I make a lot of the batter, and so I'm going to tell you they're really good. But all the people you ask, they'll tell you they're really, really great, too. I would say really great is an understatement. They are awesome. They are awesome. And you just won an award for these donuts, right? Uh, we did. We came in second from a WMUR poll, and we're pretty pretty psyched about that. So I disagree with that poll. You are not number two. You are number one in my book. Those, those donuts are pretty damn good. We're hoping uh, next year. We're hoping next year we get number one, but right now, number two. It's not, as, it's not what we were hoping for, but we'll take it. All right, so I've been told this is a top secret recipe. I can't speak about it. <laughs> um, is there apple cider in the cider donuts? There might be. <laughs> How many of these do you typically sell? Uh, it depends on the time of the season. Later in the season, like this year, probably a uh, couple hundred dozen a day, <laughs> yeah. whereas earlier in the year, it is crazy. We'll have four donut machines running all day from nine to six, so. But you do make the donuts year round, so if somebody wants to sample these, they can come anytime and get a donut, right? You make them year round? I don't believe it's year round. No. Uh, during the apple picking season, yep, all the way up through Christmas season. Okay. And then Saturdays during the winter. Right. But other than that, nope, not during the spring and summer, I do not believe. So what is your favorite part about these donuts? What do you think is the best thing? Oh man. <laughs> They're really warm, which is great. Yeah. Um, when you have them hot, it's just great, especially with it being, you know, sometimes cooler in the season, great to warm up. Uh, they're pretty filling, so you don't need a whole bunch of them. Now, I've also noticed that you sell cinnamon and sugar to put on top of them. I have never tried them with cinnamon and sugar. I've only had them plain. What do you recommend? I think they're perfectly fine plain, mm -hmm. but if you're a fan of cinnamon and sugar, it's a wonderful addition to the donut. And any other advice you would have to donut lovers out there? Uh, if you buy the donuts, make sure to leave the bag open. If you close it up, the bags are all insulated. They'll turn mushy and... It's just terrible. You won't have a good donut if that happens, and we don't want you to have bad donuts. So leave the bags open, let them air out, and just enjoy them. Thank you so much. You got it straight from the mouth of Mike, the donut guy himself. These donuts are awesome. Come get one. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. So as you can tell, there is so much more going on here than just apple picking. Today I am here with Jessica Lander. Uh, she is actually here signing copies of her book, Driving Backwards, which is on local farms and actually features Meadow Ledge Farm, right? You talk about it. Yes, absolutely. It mentions Meadow Ledge Farm. Basically, it's a, a nonfiction uh, portrait of what small town New Hampshire is like today. And it specifically looks at Gilmanton, which is just right down the road, um, which some people know as the inspiration for Peyton Place, oh, okay. 1950s blockbuster novel. But what I was really interested in and spent the last five years doing was researching what the town was like today and the real people and the real stories. Um, so these aren't the stories that are going to get on the front page of the New York Times, right. but these are the stories of hardworking creative Americans. Right. And so profiling the farmers like the um, wonderful farmers at Meadow Ledge. Um, this is not just a tourist place. This is a real working farm. It's absolutely, real. right. And so what the book really dives into is how um, challenging uh, real farm work is and um, how much it relies on the weather. Um, you have a lot of rain and it can completely throw off the crop, but just how creative people in New Hampshire are. Um, and you have farms that are hundreds of years old, many, many generations. One of the farms uh, featured in this book is six generations old. My goodness. And it's four generations working on the farm today. <sighs> Wow. which is just incredible. And so it's really a celebration of the people that are in small towns across New Hampshire today, looking particularly at this town that's right down the road. So what do you think is the most fascinating aspect to you, the most interesting thing about the, the farming itself, the, the actual process of the farming, the people who do it? 
Uh, you have to be a jack of all trades. Um, you, so I, I, in, I sort of apprenticed myself to a wild blueberry farmer, um, Duncan Geddes, who has a three generation uh, wild blueberry farm and to this uh, dairy farm. And just learning from these farmers of the incredible amount of work it takes, but how you have to know all sorts of skills and all sorts of tools to just get by during the year. You don't just do one thing. You can't just milk cows. You can't just do apples because the seasons change. So maybe you're also going to do maple cidering, uh, maple sugaring, and maybe you're also going to do some trucking on the side. And so you really have to be a jack of all trades. They're incredibly, incredibly hardworking. Yeah, I think that's the old Yankee work ethic. You absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yes. So are you a Yankee yourself? Uh, born and raised in Massachusetts, but we've had a house in Gilman for the last 20 years. I'll tell you a secret, I was born in Massachusetts too, uh, but don't tell anybody. I'll try not to, I'll try not to. <laughs> but no, we've been coming up here for 20 years. I grew up spending my summers right up here, coming to Meadow Ledge every year, picking apples. We press our own cider up at the house, um, but clearly get cider from here. Oh yeah. Um, come for the donuts, because they're the best donuts. Donuts, donuts. Tell, them, tell them about the donuts. Oh, they're, they're the best donuts. I, I tell this to all of my friends, these are the best donuts of any variety that you can get that I've ever had. Um, it, it just I, I come up here specifically to get the donuts and get large, <laughs> large quantities. Um, but no, it's I, I love this area. Um, and really, this is where I grew up and spent my childhood. Thank you so much for talking to us. Absolutely. And again, if you want to check out her book, uh, it's Driving Backwards by Jessica Lander. Do you have a website where I people do. can I do, I do. It's jessicalander.com, and All it's right. also available on Amazon All and right. local right. bookstores. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Here at Meadow Ledge, they have over 40 varieties of apples, and they are open for apple picking. August through October. So of course when you come depends on what varieties of apples they have, but they have apples all summer, all fall. I have never even heard of some of these varieties of, of apple. Winter banana apples. I don't know. Wolf River apples, smokehouse, they all look so good. I mean that is a big beautiful apple. And of course if you uh, buy apples here you want to make apple crisp. They also have mixes for pumpkin bread. Uh, there you go. Cooking with apples recipes right here. Get your apples, get your apple recipes. Hot coffee, hot cider. This place just goes on for days. And of course we've got Meadow Ledge brand of jams and jellies and preserves. I've got to go see what they've got here. Chocolate raspberry jam. I am in real trouble. I have such a sweet tooth. Now it's more than just food here. They also have a gift shop and again everything here is made locally. Local craftsmen, local foods. Uh, if you have somebody on your Christmas list that is difficult to shop for, come here because you will find something for everybody. Oh, 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 <gasps> penny candy. Oh, that's got the little necklace. Oh, oh, I haven't had candy like this for years. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Mulling spice for uh, hot apple cider if you really want to give it a kick. And of course, pumpkin pie spice. The gift shop also features CDs from all the bands that play here. And of course, uh, this is the Bradford Bog People's new album, Fully Peated. And you can buy the CDs right here. Meadow Ledge has everything. They even have their very own colony of bees and make their very own Meadow Ledge Farm honey. And this is just fascinating. Uh, you can bring the kids and look at the bees, and I'm going to see if I can find the queen. Oh, where are you? Whoop! I think I found her. Right there. There she is. Oh my goodness. They have a million and one varieties of Yankee candles here. The candles smell just as good as the food. I want to eat the candles. I know, I know. Look at this. Treehouse Memories, I have no idea what Treehouse Memories is. Oh, yeah, it smells like a pine forest. It's just beautiful. Look at this, 
handcrafted shaker brooms made by Bailey's Brooms of Belknap County. And you can see that the uh, broomstick is hand planed, beautiful weaving, uh, just lovely. Now there's actually been a farm here for a very long time. The farmhouse here was built in 1834. Originally it was a sheep farm, then a dairy farm, now it's an apple orchard, and let me tell you, they're great apples. Here we've got a poster signed by uh, a class that obviously came on a field trip here. Thank you for teaching us how to pick apples. Thank you for the tractor ride. Oh, it's very sweet. And baked goods. Oh, goodness. Look at this. They have got fresh-made breads, a big variety, apple bread, squash bread, Parmesan, oregano, garlic bread. They've got apple rolls. Oh, the baked goods just go on and on. And again, they're made fresh right here at Meadow Ledge. And <laughs> let's read the ingredients. It's flour, milk, butternut squash, sugar, eggs, butter, cornstarch, yeast, and salt. And that is it. This is baking the old fashioned way. No preservatives here. I got to get me some of this. Meadow Ledge also has its own brand of pickles. They've got pickled eggs, dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, zesty bread and butter pickles. Um, and again, pancake mix, look at this. Life's Little Pleasures Blueberry and Lemon Pancake Mix, and this is made in Pittsfield, Pittsfield, New Hampshire. Also just a hop, skip, and a jump from here. I'm gonna get some of this too. Meadow Ledge Farm is located at 612 Route 129 in Loudoun, New Hampshire. And if you want to come and check it out, they are open every day from 9 to 6, September through November 1st. They are also open Wednesdays through Sundays through Christmas. And the rest of the year, they are open on Saturdays. They have got apple picking. They also have peaches, you can come in the spring, you can pick your own strawberries. As I said, uh, gourmet food store, gift shop, donuts to die for, apple pies, candy, wagon rides for the kids. Come and check it out. It really is a great place. I am your host, Demetra Papadinas, and thank you so much for joining me on Take Me Out New Hampshire. I'm going to check out some of these apples. <laughs> Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.